just doing great. Uh, you guys got a new album coming out in September. Um, how would you describe your guitar tone this time? The guitar tone? Um, on the record, that's the same as... You know, we're using the same rig. Going, going basically for the, the same idea. We uh, got a lot of textures on this record, so there'll be... Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of ambient parts. Um, every song on this record is a lot different, so there's going to be a lot of different textures and feels. So, uh, still, we'll get some brutal, brutal guitar tone, so that'll be there. For the songwriting on this, uh, did it change at all, or is it, you know, machine head type of songwriting for this, and, you know, the time it took for making the album? Um, yeah, I think that we actually took a good five months from writing and then uh, Rob and Dave got together for a few months before I came in they were they had a lot of stuff that they wanted to get going and, uh, they worked on a couple of songs and you know Rob's our main songwriter um, we've uh, me and Dave will contribute and uh, give him stuff you know he's he's our sandwich maker he puts everything together we throw him ideas and then we jam them out and everybody kind of talks about what they like and what feels good and but uh rob's got a really good vision as far as songs so we just we lean on him for that um i helped him out with uh, a lot of lyrics on this this one that's probably the only difference but same 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 formula Oh, Rob's Rob's our guy. The title of the album, where does that come from? Um, <laughs> onto the, the locust. locust. Yeah, the locust. Locust was this concept that I kind of had about uh, people that uh, kind of come into your life under the guise of something that they're not, whether it be. You know, it's always for an ulterior motive to uh, kind of drain you of your resources. <laughs> they, uh, there's a line that says, "Behind an angel, dis- behind an angel's disguise, an insect prays." So it's just they come into your life as your friend, or you know, as a lover, or any capacity. But their main intent is, you know, to pretty much get everything they can from you. And once they're discovered, or once that you've been drained, they just move on to the next person, and it's just a cycle. I've had a couple of encounters with that, and uh, it made for a good concept. A very good concept. In that case, when you look at it like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. You guys also are playing the Mayhem Festival, you know, coming up soon. Uh-huh. What are you guys going to be doing for set list? Changing it up a little bit, or is it uh, going to be straightforward, you know? Well, set I mean, list? we get 35 minutes, and a lot of our songs are 7 to 8 minutes long. Some of them are 10. You know, so uh, we've toyed with doing a four-song set, but it'll probably be in the five. We're going to try to maybe go on a few minutes early and play five songs. There'll be four main songs that we play, and maybe a song that we kind of switch up in between. We want to play we want to play a new tune and uh, treat this as a setup for the record, so hopefully play a new song. And after this album's release, you guys plan on a, a larger tour, you know, overseas and stuff as well? Yeah, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're playing the Soundwave Revolution Festival tour down in Australia with crazy bands like Van Halen and Hole and a um, big 30-man traveling package down there. We're going to South America to play with uh, Sepultura, like four or five shows down there. Then we're doing a big uh, arena tour through uh, the UK with Bring Me the Horizon, uh, Darkest Hour, Devil Driver, and um, so we got we're booked through the end of the year doing basically you know the world and planning on trying to you know get through the US early next year first quarter next year well it looks like you guys are really busy then coming up it's good oh, yeah we're a touring band you know that's what we do we're not getting the uh, we're not playing and get played on the radio too much so we need to get out and have people see us What's your take on, you know, stuff like YouTube and stuff like that, you know, to promote a band? I think it's great. It's a great conduit to have people see us, you know. Most most people have 
access to the internet, and it's just easier. You know, I don't watch a lot of TV anymore. What I do, I just DVR and watch that way. But, you know, the internet is a great tool to uh, to promote and network. Now, Phil, when you're on tour, you know, how, how do you organize your time, you know, from waking up to, you know, hitting the stage? You know, you got your business to do, you know, all this stuff, you know, <laughs> in the Internet and, you know, God knows what else. a lot of hurry up to wait. You know, you have to manage your time, otherwise you get stuck in a rut of, you know, sleeping until 3 in the afternoon, do your press, eat, play, stay up till 5, watching, you know, whatever, some cable or whatever, you know, movies are playing. So, um, trying to stay on a good sleeping schedule and wake up and uh, try to do some exercises, um, you know, every day's every day's different. On the festival tours, there's a lot of people around. So, uh, you know, you, you go out and visit. You, there's bands playing really early, so you're parked by the stage. They're waking you up. It's time to get going. So, uh, we bring we bring weights out with us, so we'll work out. And uh, not very exciting, man. It really is. not But at least you keep busy like that. Yeah. Yeah. You got to. You don't want to get bored on the tour. Oh, uh, everybody gets bored on tour. Uh. I don't care who you are. <laughs> There's always parts of the day that just drag, and you just, you know, days roll into the next, so. Let's say for songwriting, do you guys do any songwriting on tour, or is it concentration on other stuff? No, we usually don't. We didn't write hardly anything on uh, the last the last run. Maybe a riff here or two that we, you know, we have the cues and the practice amps. And Dave has overseas. We have a uh, a big. Uh, he's got like an electronic kit that we set up in the two bigger dressing rooms, and uh, so we'll we'll jam on some stuff. But it's mostly done back at home in the jam room. And this this entire record was was written at home. You know, home studios mostly, or you know, you guys went to a, a different studio. Oh uh, yeah, we had a we have a rehearsal studio. Okay moved into in the beginning of last year that we write in and you know me and me and Rob and Dave will write riffs at, at home and bring them in you know we each have our like a record, recording stuff at home that we that we bring in but it's mostly hey check this out or you know stuff like that because today is getting quite easy to write you know and record you know with all the computer equipment let's say yeah yeah it's really easy to to send files and people to record on top of stuff like that. So it's even to record records, you know, the technology is really advanced to be able to do that. Well, excellent stuff. So the Mayhem Festival is going to be from July to August, and you guys are going to keep really busy on that tour. Yep. The fans are going to be looking forward to seeing Machine Head on that stage. Yes. Yeah, main stage on the first nine shows, and then we uh, headline the Revolver stage for the rest of it. All right, very good. All right. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. You have a good tour. Okay, thank you, man.